Good trick in the entire show. The last thing that I'm going to close the show with is a piece of history. It's very sentimental to me. We're going to start off with my favorite trick. And there's a story behind this trick, but I'm going to dumb it down because you're probably sick of hearing my voice. It's all right. So was my girlfriend. That's why I'm here right now. <laughs> very long story short. I started doing magic when I was 13 years old. There was a magic shop in West Haven called the Mystical Magic Company. He sold everything. When eventually, eventually, when the shop closed, because the owner and I were such good friends, he became a mentor to me, I got everything. The entire shop. In my basement. My mom was pissed, by the way. And there was this one trick that was in there, and I opened it up, and because I, I saw it on TV, I saw it. David Copperfield, Lance Burton, Penn and Teller do this trick. I opened it up, saw how it was done. I was like, this is stupid. And I put it away. Finally, the guy that taught me magic, he's like, what'd you think of all the stuff I gave you? I'm like, it was great. He's like, what do you think of, the, of that one? I'm like, stupid. Like, nobody's ever going to figure it out. Or nobody's ever going to fall for it. It's too easy. Then he proceeded to show me how he did his version. It changed my life. It is the trick that got me on stage. Some of you love it, some of you hate it, and I guarantee all of you have seen it before, but this is my variation of the rings. So in my hand right here, I'm gonna move this back a little bit, I don't really need it anymore. I'm gonna make sure that I don't forget this or else I'm listening to traffic on the way home. In my hands right here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six rings like Michael Jordan. It was a Tom Brady joke, but that he decided to go to Tampa and ruin it. <laughs> We're going to take rings one, two, and three and magically, using nothing but magic illusion and sleight of hand, I'm going to make them appear around my neck. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> You know what's funny? I would do that at kids' birthday parties and the adults would laugh. Yeah. Ring number four, I'm going to have, I'm going to have you hold on to this ring, if you don't mind. Take that. Ring number five, uh, could you hold on to this for me? Yes, you with the glasses, kind of look like Judge Mathis. Wait, wrong judge, Judge Judy, I'm sorry. Hey, 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 Judge Judy is an amazing woman. Don't, I shall beat your ass, all right? I'm gonna take ring number six. All I need you to do right now is take the rings, make sure that they are solid. Make sure that they are in fact made out of steel. Check them for corners. Make sure that the corners are even. You're looking for corners by now, it's a circle. Misdirection. Make sure that there's no lions, tigers, bears, smoke mirrors, trap doors, hidden assistance, smoke, ring, uh, technology, ropes, or pulpy systems. And most importantly, make sure that the ring does not have a hole in it. <laughs> Except for the one in the center. <laughs> Anybody have a giant ring I can borrow from by chance? Anybody? Oh, yes, you do. Thank you very much. Same <laughs> No, 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 she was right with you, she didn't. What's your name? Anne. I only half hate you right now. What's your name? Malcolm. Huh? Malcolm. Sure, all right. At least it's not Mary Ann. I really hope you guys know tonight I'm putting a fake review on my website. Greatest magic show I've ever seen. All the Marianne's. <laughs> you think I'm lying? Go to my website tomorrow, www.chrislanglemagic.com. I'll be the first one you see. Anyway, we're going to take one ring. We're going to take two rings. If you do some really cool gestures and movements, it looks like I actually know what I'm doing. No, seriously, check this out. We take one ring, we take two, we make the one, the only, Buddy Holly. <laughs> Ready? I'm Chris Angel. <laughs> It's a Venn diagram. The people that laugh at that are teachers, by the way. Watch this. You take the rings, you rub them together, you create the illusion that they are in fact linking. Of course, nothing is happening, but with a little bit of luck and a lot of belief. Hold on. With a little bit of belief and a lot of luck, you can actually take them, rub them together like this, and create something really cool. But... 
That's not the coolest way you can do this, so we'll do it again. Uh, this time I'm going to let you see that they will slowly and gracefully come together like this, as if it was magnetized, but it's not. Bring them together like this. Give them a little bit of a and they like again. Now the interesting thing is not only can you see it link, you can hear it link. Check it out. Might need that ring. Can you see this? Notice I've got one ring around my elbow. Notice I cannot juggle. Yeah. We're going to do a little bit of a combo move. I'm going to take this ring. I'm actually going to throw it up into the air. I'm going to bring this ring down, hit it against this one while it's still in the air, link them, do a 360 pirouette type thing, drop the one around my... Why are you laughing? I've done this a thousand times. Shut up. It's only worked about six, but you know, boy can dream. Do a 360 thing, drop the one around my arm, hopefully they all link together. If it works, big thunderous round of applause. Here we go. One, two, oh, I got center the wall. Down, 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 side, down, down, down. Thousand one, still worked only six. It's very wobbly, I actually have to make sure that it's nice and centered. One, two, there we are, that's better. Up, down, around, and oh. Yeah. Now the cool thing is, linking them is all right, right? Unlinking them I find to be even cooler. What's your name? Susan. Susan, can you hold on to this ring for me? I want you to just give it a tug, make sure that they're actually in there, and I'll even show you that they are, in fact, linked. You can see, right? I want you to hold the ring up just a little bit higher, okay? At the count of three, we're gonna pull. You're not gonna pull too hard because if that ring goes flying backwards, you're getting sued, not me. <laughs> One of us can afford it. Here we go, ready? One, two, three. Whoa! So, that's all fine and dandy, but I still have the other three around my neck. So what I'm gonna do is using nothing but magic illusion and sleight of hand, I'm gonna switch these rings with these rings. Ready, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> For real, this is where it gets tough because we're going to take four, five, and six. I'm going to take them, I'm going to throw all of them into the air. Hopefully, they will link in midair. If this works, big thunderous round of applause. If this doesn't, run. <laughs> NASCAR fans, monster truck fans, I give you Toyota. <laughs> the coolest thing about this trick is I've done this for well over 15 years, and for some reason, I take all of these rings, I give them a blow, I give them a little bit of a flick, I link them all together, and the audience goes nuts. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> 
So we got one more. One more grand finale trick. 